I'm Trisha Mandis, and you're watching Take Control Tuesdays, where you learn to take control of your diet, your weight, and your health. Last week, I shared with you five reasons why oil is not a health food. So today, to help you implement this information into your daily life, specifically in the kitchen, I'm going to show you how you can saute without oil, and it's really easy. So just a recap from last week. A few of the main reasons we don't want to be eating oil, especially on a regular basis, is because one, it's really calorie dense, so it's really difficult to maintain a healthy weight or lose weight when oil is a regular part of the diet. Heart disease, severe heart disease has been reversed with a low-fat plant-based diet that included getting all oils out of the diet. Oil damages your endothelial cells, and it's actually really nutrient-poor food. There's barely anything else in it other than pure liquid fat. So all you're going to need are some veggies. In this case, I'm going to use a chopped onion and some water, or you can also use veggie broth. So here we go. Okay, so this is how you saute without oil. This is the best camera angle I could get. So it's to get me and the pan. And it doesn't matter what kind of pan you use. It can be non-stick or it can be stainless steel, cast iron, it doesn't matter. So first you want to get it nice and hot. And then once it gets hot, all you're going to do is toss your onions on there. And then um, as they start to stick, then we'll add a little bit of water. So here goes. And this is basically all you're going to do. And it's really easy with a non-stick pan. And once it starts to, once they start to get like brown or stick a little bit, all you're going to do is pour a tiny bit of water in the pan and move it around. And that browning is going to come off the pan and it's going to flavor your food even more actually. So again, you can also use veggie broth and not just use water. So basically you just keep doing this. I have it on high, medium, high right now. You just keep doing this until um, the onions become translucent. Now, one food that you don't want to put in the pan right away is chopped garlic when you're doing this because it will burn. So onions, celery, carrots, mushrooms, awesome. Those are your base. Once you get them cooking, then throw your diced garlic in there and keep adding some water or veggie broth as it cooks. Luckily I went to yoga this morning so my body is in good shape to be standing like this for you. So yeah, I haven't even put any liquid in the pan yet and it's cooking. So this way you can save yourself um, lots of calories and fat from not being added to your food and you're also going to start to save some money because now you don't have to buy expensive olive oil anymore. Uh, the trick to flavoring your food now is going to be with lots of spices and herbs to get extra flavoring instead of just using fat to make things taste better. And again, once you start to get fat out of your diet, your taste buds will start to adjust. So this might not taste as good to you right now, but if you cut the fat out of your diet, your taste buds again will adjust and simple foods are going to start to taste a lot better. All right, now we're cooking. I never cook with oil at home. We never cook it. We never buy it. I don't have it. When we go out to eat, I will ask to have food without oil when I can get steamed veggies and rice you do what you can and in the very least if you can't um, you know it's inevitable you're gonna eat some oil but if I'm gonna eat oil I'm not gonna be eating it in my house it's more of a treat type of thing for a special occasion when I'm out with friends Alright, I might not even have to use water this time. 
You can see some of the onions are starting to brown a little bit. So they're caramelizing, they're getting sweet. Now, if you were to put a thin layer of water on this pan, you would end up steaming the veggies or the onions instead of sauteing them, which is fine. You'll just get a different flavor. I don't even really need to, but I'm gonna just add a little bit of water, like a tablespoon or two, so you see like how much is used. And the little browning that was on the pan is taking, the water is lifting that from the pan, so that's adding flavor as well. So that's it, that's all, that's all you gotta do to saute without oil, it's so easy and it's so, inexpensive and it's healthier for you because the onion is still really super healthy without any oil on it. It's healthier without the oil on it. Alright, so there you have it. So easy and inexpensive to saute without oil and it tastes delicious too. So now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about sauteing without oil? And when and what will you saute without oil this week? Post your answers in the comments section below this video. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Get them over to trishamandis.com, have them sign up for free email updates so they too can get this life-saving information. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Get educated, get support, and take control. You can get the healthy body you deserve.